So the other day I found myself in the strange part of YouTube, you know, that place where we sometimes end up and we come across these strange but, you know, wonderful videos which really inspire us sometimes and enlighten us. And this one particular video was of London from 1924. It was the first, apparently the first coloured film that was made. And I'm going to play the clip for you over this video just so, you know, uh, as, I, as I share my thoughts with you. I didn't expect this to do this to me. I really did not expect this video to affect me in the way that it did. Now, as you can see in this video, there was there were men, there were women, there were elderly, there were children. There were people going about their daily lives. There were living human beings. There were people who may have may have had ideas, aspirations, goals, visions. You know, people who had families, loved ones, relationships, etc. And and you you saw this, and but then it really struck me in that moment that that today, as I'm sitting here and watching this video. These people no longer exist. It's probably safe to say, none of these people in this clip, none of them exist today. But once upon a time, just over a hundred years ago, these people lived and walked on the face of this earth. But today they're not here. And it, and it's, it's, it's strange, but you know, when we watch these, these videos and these clips and we have these realizations, we don't think a little further and realize that this is going to be us. Very soon we're going to face the same fate as these individuals. We too are going to die. We're not here forever. Within another hundred years from now, every single one of us that's watching this clip right now, including myself, we're not going to be here. We're going to be gone. So if this is the reality of life, then why are we so lost in this worldly life, why are we spending so much effort and time and energy in building things, literally building things and amassing things that we're not going to take away with us? So much energy, so much passion, so much thought goes into acquiring things which we're just going to leave behind. And at that moment, those things are going to be no more yours than they are your enemies, if anything. And this is the sad thing. If anything, at that moment when you leave this earth, they, that your, en your enemy will be closer to your belongings than you would be. Yet we are hell-bent on just chasing the world. Why? When history is testament to the reality of life. Man, the Prophet, peace be upon him, once said, Abdullah ibn Umar said that the Prophet, peace be upon him, once grabbed him by the shoulders. He held him by the shoulders and he said to him, he said, be in this world as if you were a traveler, a wayfarer, a traveler, someone that's just here for a moment and gone tomorrow. Such few words, but such a deep and profound lesson for humanity. Only if we stop and reflect upon what's being said. Abdullah ibn Umar further uh, elaborated upon this when he said that if when evening comes, do not expect to make it till the morning. And when you find yourself in morning, when, you, when morning comes, don't expect to make it to the evening. And take from your health a preparation for your illness and take from your life a type of preparation for your death. This is the truth. This is the reality of life. Like it or not. Accept it or reject it. You can't run away from it. You are not going to run away from the fact that you're going to die. But when we're this and, and this life that we have, well, we have it for a reason. Then why are we not making the most of it? Well, I guess I want to wrap up by saying this. Whether you're an atheist or a Muslim, just do one thing. Really just stop and take, take a check of your life. You know, just, just reflect upon it. Realize, just see and realize that you're not here forever. And at the very least, I mean, just, just try to figure out why we are here. Why we have been given this time that we've been given on this earth. You know, we don't want to be like people who have lived an entire lifetime and now have died and gone on, but have not figured out why they were, why they were created in the first place, why they lived and what life was all about. And have missed that opportunity, that one shot. And it is just one shot, one shot. They've missed that one shot and they will not get it back. Don't make the same mistakes. At the very least, do whatever you can to educate yourself and inform yourself to the degree where at least you're making an informed choice as to whether you accept, you know, to face the truth, which, as I mentioned, I say over and over again, which is Islam, which is held in the Quran itself, 
Don't take my word for it. Read the Quran for yourself. You know, but at least go through the process of going through enough information and, and honestly and objectively educating yourself on these matters before you choose to remain and choose to continue to live the way you're living. This applies to us Muslims and to atheists and whoever else may be out there. I'll leave it at that. Let me know your thoughts in the questions or comment section below. Till next time, take care.